if you look at well-educated people and people in good jobs or richer people, um, they live anything from five to ten years longer than poor people. It varies from one country to another. Uh, and we were really trying to understand the causes of these differences in death rates. They're interesting because they're, partly because it's not just a difference between the poor and the rest of the society. It's a gradient that goes all the way across society. So even the people who are not as rich as the very top people do less well uh, in terms of health. They have slightly shorter life expectancy uh, than, the, than the very rich. Um, and most of the problems in, you know, if you're looking at levels of mental illness or teenage birth rates or um, uh, drug taking, you find these social gradients all the way across society. I think that everyone recognises that health is worst in the poorest areas. It's more surprising that if you look at people in, in good jobs with good incomes and education, people who've been to university, even they are less healthy than the, the people above them in society. It's not just about poverty. Um, and I think we thought that uh, initially our task was to see uh, what material difference between social groups was contributing to what cause of death. Uh, and we always thought that social class, social status, was a proxy for the real causes. But as research progressed, researchers all over the world, we became aware that uh, social status itself is one of the crucial causes.